Hey everybody, so for this video, we're going to look at how you can create a Screencastify video and then edit it with iMovie on your cell phone. Once you finish making a video, this screen comes up, it uploads it to your Google Drive, and then down here at the bottom, it says download. You're going to want to click that. And then you're going to export it as an MP4. Click export. You have two options. Um, after you click this download mp4 button. So click this because it's still not downloaded to your computer yet. So do that. And then you can see it in the folder by clicking show in folder. And then if you click recent right here, it'll be at the top of your list. So here's my video. Now you have to do one of two things. You can either email it to yourself or upload it to your Google Drive. Once you've done that, you can jump on over to your cell phone. Make sure you have the Google Drive app installed and a way to access your email as well from your phone. To upload your new videos to Google Drive, just open Google Drive, click New, File Upload, and again, you can click Recent so you know it's the most recent video files that you have. So I want to do these two videos right here. So I can click both of them by holding down the control key and clicking the second one and it'll do both and then I'm going to click open and down here in the right it'll show you that they're starting to upload now if you want to do this from your email which works as well go to your email compose a new email to yourself and then um, all you have to do is click attach files again you can do recent Click the two files that you want, one, and then hold down the control key, two, click open, and then it'll attach the files, and then you'll send them to yourself. And now we're going to go to the phone and see what these look like. Once you go into Google Drive, find your video file, click the three little dots next to it, and then you're going to go to open in, and then it's going to export it to your phone. This can take longer if it's a really long video. This, the video I picked here is a very short one, so it shouldn't take too long. And then you're going to scroll to the right, click More, scroll down, and find Copy to iMovie. We're going to create a new movie. Okay, and now your video file is inside iMovie. Now, if you have multiple video files. We'll go ahead and go back to Drive and just repeat, repeat that process and just make sure when you copy it to iMovie that you pick the same project that you just started and then it'll put it in there with you. Now if you want to do this from your, uh, your email. Okay, so here's the email I sent myself earlier. So I'll just pick the video on the left. Click the up arrow on the top right of your screen. And then you're going to scroll to the right on your apps, click the more button, go back down here, click copy to iMovie, and then pick your, if it's a new project, like my new project I think is called My Movie One, so I'll click that one. And I'll add it to movie. And now I've got two video files uh, in, the same, in the same project, and then you can go ahead and go start editing those projects. And lastly, if you're not sure, let's take a quick look at how you can crop a video in iMovie. So this is for when you make when you make a mistake making your Screencastify for your students. So you see there at the bottom right of my video where it shows the exporting process? Let's say I want to cut that out and make it go a lot faster, right? So we'll start the cut right here. You just click the project where it says split at the bottom. Click split. Okay, and then scroll forward to where... I'm going to scroll forward to where that process bar on the bottom right of my video is almost done. Okay, do you see where it's stopped right there? Okay, I'm going to split it again right there. Now this part right here that's all split, I'm just going to click it, click delete. Now, watch my video, it's going to go from pretty much just starting to export to being done. I'm going to hit play. You there you go, video. see how I just cut that whole chunk out. So that's a good way to get rid of any mistakes that you make while you're creating videos for your students.